catfish, carp, striper. Nobody's gonna know. Well, that's, Nobody's gonna know. That's They're gonna know. Cool. Wake up. It's time to go fishing. Alright guys, welcome back to another Timu unboxing, unbagging. Whatever you guys like to call it, nothing really shows up in a box except what's inside the bags. But we're going to get into this. I've had a couple I had to take items out of because there was Christmas stuff in here. I don't fully remember what all the fishing gear was, but it was left in here. I know some of them are some pretty cool lures uh, that I'll get into when we get to them. And I'm going to end up having to do a full video on these uh, specific type of lures when it gets into spawn. I think it'll be a good time to test them out. And then if you stay tuned, there's going to be a giveaway. I didn't get to do one for my 1,000 subscribers at the end of the year. So if you want to be entered into that, follow along and I'll tell you how. Alright, let's get into this, guys. There's just too much stuff here, too much. Alright, I think I have, this will be a separate, that's one of those special items I was talking about. But here's something. A couple cents each, I'm sure. We have, I'll try to put up the prices if I still have them. We have carp hooks. So these are to hold on to carp bait, which I've never fished for carp before, but I know a spot. We have camouflaged carp line. Look at that. That's pretty interesting. 35 pound, five meters, a liter, so it looks just like grass on the Nobody's bottom. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna now know. They're gonna know. That's pretty cool. How would they okay, so I'm not big into carp fishing. I've never done it, but it seems like they get fished for and they get finicky. How would they know? So you want to camouflage it? How would they know? It hooks at the end I and float. I just I can't. Oh my god! Oops, and and here we have our pre-made fishing bait. Uh, I have no idea what it says. It says carp bait plus attractant made in China. Tells you what room and what building and what number of batch it was, which is interesting. I don't know. Never carp fish, so stay tuned for that. I think I have a spot in mind, but we'll give it a try. <coughs> I'm going to set this one to the side for now still. Let's see what this is. Oh, these are little flies. So these are fuzzy flies for fly fishing or my ultralight. And I think they're supposed to look like little egg sacs or something. But they're just little fluff balls. I don't know. This one kind of looks like a tomato. Never tried these kind, but I will be trying them. Let's see. This one. Okay, these go together. Stay till the end for this one. These are what we're gonna really focus on soon. And that's one of them too. I don't even remember what I got. Oh, okay, so these are line ties that light up. So these are little fish attractant green lights that you somehow tie into your lines so it has a flashing LED on them. Looks like they have a glowing eye on one side and a flash around this side. These are water activated. I just licked my finger, but. I don't know, I think it's a good idea. That'll attract the fish over. Now, I'm kind of disappointed about this. <clears throat> Not the item itself, but I had already filmed this. So we're on our new GoPro. The old one died, it was glitching, and I've lost everything I filmed in January, including the unboxing and testing of this. I haven't caught a fish on this yet, um, but I did go out 
use the line that it came with. This is a full fishing kit. It is a spinning kit, a telescopic rod. It came with a bunch of lures. I think there's a couple lures in here that I left in here when I tried it that didn't come with it, and I'll point those out. But this whole thing, this whole kit, case included, was under 10 bucks. Uh, looks like I got the line tangled in here. All right, so these didn't come with it. But what it did come with was a cool carbon fiber look uh, rod. Pretty long. Came with the reel. Came with this line, but this whole line was in um, a foreign language. I don't know uh, what it said or what test it was. It doesn't look very uh, thick diameter. So I'm assuming it's something smaller, like six pound or eight at most. It has this nice folding handle though, so it fits back into the bag. And I've tried it. It makes a couple weird noises on the rod, like some creaks. But these are actually all metal. I had ones that were kind of plasticky. I'm not sure if those are ceramic, but they seem to be pretty good. Comes out, casted pretty well. I will do some fishing with it and see if I can't actually catch something. But for a rod, reel, <coughs> and most of this junk in here. Junk, not junk. Let's see. So it came with. A frog, crankbait, popper, another little crankbait. Came with these jig heads to go with these same brand, Proberos, Premier jigs. These are little swim jig, swim baits, soft baits that go with these jig heads. Came with a set of Castmaster style kind of spoons with their single hook and not treble hook, all gold, just different weights. A cover for the top of the rod, and I currently have the jerk. I think I tried the jerk bait, but it is stuck in here. And a nice little blue jerk bait, floating jerk bait. But I mean, for ten bucks, you get a carrying case. It's a whole travel rod, travel rod, reel, baits, 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 more baits. I mean, this is pretty loaded. It was like nine ninety five or something. I I don't trust the line. I'd actually just switch that out. Jig heads. But otherwise, everything in there is oh, usable. Alright, a little lipless crankbait. I don't even remember ordering it, but that's kind of cool color. You can see that. Kind of got the reflection on here. Silver, silver bottom, gold top, pretty decent shape. It's got sections to it. It's a jointed lipless crankbait. Oh, bladed jig. Kind of beat up, but oh, it's from the same brand as the lure kit, but I ordered it separately. A bunch of bells and uh, lights for them for night fishing. Gonna try cat more cat fishing this year. Now, what's really cool is I know one of my subscribers asked me about this, and I have one somewhere and I have to find it. It's one I paid like 25, 30 bucks for on Amazon. 
Um, but these are all these are all robotic animatronic lures. So these all charge and do di have different actions. This one might just have a light. I don't see a propeller on it. But they're all about half the price or a third of the price of the other ones that I had. This one looks like a jerk bait. It's got rattle in there. I'll have to charge it up and see what it does. I think it lights up. Well, these ones are very well packaged. And they come in these nice little cases, actually. My one I got off Amazon. Um, the electronic. Ooh, what is it? I'll have to put it up on the screen. I can remember the name brand. I don't think it came in this cool little case. This one's a lipless crankbait. Now I'm confused on what the electronic part of this is. Does it vibrate or light up? I don't know. But the one I got from Amazon uh, has a little propeller on it and you put a bobber on it, cast it out, it goes out there and makes some dashes, floats around, dashes, and kind of tracks the bass. Let's see what this one is. Oh look, another cool case. I think a lot of these are eight or nine dollars. They're still more expensive than a lot of the other lures, but whoa, that one's a lot bigger than I thought too. Looks like another jerk bait style. Maybe I'll get these charged up so I can use them sooner than later. I just kind of wanted to see what Timu's electronic baits were like compared to the ones that I got before. And this one. Oh, this is a rainbow trout. Okay, well this is more like the style of the bluegill one. Um, so if you look right there, that's a propeller. And this one actually comes with a float and extra propellers. This is actually really impressive for Timu. Um, the one I made 2534 did not come with any extra propellers. I did misplace the cables. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, to be honest though, but I, I've tried it only like twice and I misplaced the cables and I wrote the company asking if I could buy them because I didn't see them selling them anywhere. These are USB to alligator clip cables and they did send me one for free of charge. I just proved that I bought one and they sent me one. But they didn't come with any extra propellers. I have a perfect lake that they stock with trout. <coughs> Two lakes actually that would be good. Uh, one of them gets stocked later in the year. But one of them sooner than the other. So that will be pretty sweet to find out. So I do have all these. But I'm also going to create, try to create my own with a kid's item. My kid loves these in their bath. One of these robo fish from the toys. Now this is about the same price. This is like a $10 toy, $9 toy at the store. And you put it in there, the tail wiggles, it moves around. It doesn't use the propeller, it actually uses the tail as the propeller. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole at the bottom to attach a treble hook and somewhere near the top we'll put in uh, something to hold the line and we could just do this on a bobber as well but do you guys think that my robo fish from the store will beat this electronic lure from Timu? let me know which one you think would win so I don't know, I did have somebody ask about these electronic lures. There's a lot of different types. I think one of these might vibrate, one of these lights up. So we're going to put them all to the test for you guys. This will be fun. I'm pretty interested in how 
and how these all are going to do. Pretty cool. Spent way too much on getting those. This, this uh, Lippo's crankbait looks pretty sweet though. I don't know how it, how it does with that extra action. But, since you made it this far, I wanted to let you know about our giveaway that I mentioned at the very beginning. We're going to be doing a giveaway. And I am excited to announce for our 1,000 subscribers. So if you aren't one of those original 1,000 subscribers, no worries. You just subscribe now, drop a like, and leave a comment. I'm going to use a comment picker to draw the winner. And you're going to win some items that we have. I've got things from uh, extra items from Mystery Tackle Box, Crankbait, I think I have a Jerkbait, and I had uh, two subscribers. Uh, one of them donated some lures to me this weekend at a lake, and I'll show them now handing over those lures. Cool. What was your name? Van. Van? All right, and you're going to give these to us? Uh -huh. Sweet, man. Sean. Sean. What's up? How you doing? Say, hey, YouTube. What's up? Hi. What's up? And then maybe we can put some of these in a giveaway if I don't use them, guys. I bet. All right. I put these in the giveaway. There's some nice ones. All right. Pack of spoons. Uh huh. Cool. And again, thank you to Van for handing those over, and we will put his some of those soft plastics and this Lunker Hunt uh, micro spoon set in the giveaway. So it's going to be a mystery box giveaway. And all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment, preferably a like. It would really help me out. Helps the algorithm, helps the channel. We'll give it two weeks before we do the giveaway. And then I will turn off the comments on this video. Or at least make it a known somewhere. Um, but yeah, are there any Timu items that you've tried recently? Have you ever fished with these lights at the end of your line? Do they attract any fish? Have you been carp fishing? Would you even bother trying a Timu combo? I know I've seen several YouTubers use different ones, bait casters, um, but not quite the telescopic ones. Usually like four piece rods. And I don't really trust four piece rods either because I'm afraid I'm gonna cast them off. I do not trust this line whatsoever, but the mechanisms of this reel sound all right from what I've tested. Like I said, I did go out, I casted it in the water, tested the action of some of the, the lures, the little jigs, got deleted. Oh, well, listen, let's see if we can get the drag on here. A little rough, but you know if you get a bite, but it's definitely a very compact setup. I can always, if the rod holds up, I can change out the reel and put something else on here for golf course fishing where they don't want you at so this year just be excited guys we're going to be doing catfish carp striper we're definitely going back for striper i will be fishing ponds this weekend uh lakes the following weekend and then i'll probably try to get out to the rivers for striper fishing we'll do a whole episode or two on these electronic lures i'll get them charged up and get them out there we will use all this stuff. We're going to use all this stuff. We're going to do the giveaway. It's going to be a mystery box giveaway. We're going to have hard baits, soft baits, basics. So it's going to be a good little mystery tackle box, uh, custom made by what I have extra lying around here. Maybe some of these items. And all you got to do is leave a comment, drop a like, button, and be subscribed. And we'll catch you on the next one.